One temporary hospital in Wuhan received 564 patients with mild symptoms and treated them with traditional Chinese medicine. None of them became seriously ill and none of the medical staff were infected. Zhong Nanshan, head of the National Health Commission team and a renowned academician of the Chinese Academy of Engineering, specifically mentioned that it's scientifically proven that TCM is effective against novel coronavirus and inflammation, while introducing China's experience and practices fighting COVID-19 to the European Respiratory Society. How has traditional Chinese medicine helped China fight COVID-19? COVID-19 has become a pandemic caused by a novel coronavirus, but in TCM, there is no such term as pandemic. Instead, in TCM, highly infectious diseases are referred to as pestilence. As such, the name of COVID-19 according to TCM should be pulmonary pestilence. The culprit behind COVID-19 is a coronavirus which has never been found before, and currently there is no specific medicine to treat it. However, in China's fights against SARS and the AH1N1 influenza in recent years, TCM has indeed played an important and effective role in treating affected patients. Compared with Western medicine, TCM treatment usually does not focus on the virus itself, instead focusing on adjusting the body's immune system to clear symptoms and reduce complications. It is cheaper and no less effective. Therefore, China has adopted a combination of Chinese and Western medicine in its fight against COVID-19. During the epidemic, over 630 TCM hospitals across the country sent nearly 3,200 medical staff to Hubei. Moreover, the state administration of TCM sent an expert team led by three academicians, Zhang Boli, Wang Luqi and Tong Xiaolin, and four national TCM teams comprising a total of 588 people to support Wuhan. As the diagnosis and treatment plan issued by the National Health Commission was updated from the third to the seventh version, the number of its TCM prescriptions has increased to 10. In the latest novel coronavirus pneumonia diagnosis and treatment plan, lung cleansing and detoxifying decoction was listed as the first choice in the clinical TCM treatment. As of March 13th, 1,261 patients in 10 provinces had taken the decoction and its effectiveness rate is 97.78%. Patients can be categorized into four types according to the seriousness of their sickness, mild, moderate, severe and critical. To judge whether TCM is effective for mild patients, the key indicator in international clinical evaluation is the percentage of mild cases that turn into severe cases. Comparing 108 mild COVID-19 cases, it was found that the number of cases evolving from mild to severe when being treated by Western medicine treatment was about 10%, while the rate under integrated Chinese and Western medicine treatment was about 4.1%. For critically ill patients in the ICU, Western medicine is the main treatment and TCM takes a supporting role. In terms of reducing organ damage and enhancing physical strength, TCM wins more time for Western medicine treatment. Among the 16 temporary hospitals built in Wuhan, there was a special one called Jiangxia. Jiangxia's 564 patients were treated by a medical team from five different TCM hospitals. It was the only TCM temporary hospital in Wuhan. The treatment is relatively simple, using mainly TCM and a few IV infusions. In addition to taking medicine, there are many special practices such as Tai Chi, Baduanjin, acupuncture, massage and pressure point application which are all TCM treatment methods. Although the hospital was managed by a TCM medical team, modern medical equipment such as testing equipment and mobile CT scanners were used. As of March 15th, the proportion of treatment that included elements of TCM in Hubei province overall was 91.64%. The proportion of TCM included in treatment in Wuhan was 89.10% and the proportion of TCM included in treatment across the country was 92.41%. As COVID-19 gradually comes under control in China and the global pandemic becomes increasingly severe, foreign countries have started to learn from China's experience. Daejeon University in South Korea, Toyo Medical College in Kobe, Japan, and a medical school in Rome, Italy, 
expressed their willingness to share their experiences with China and hoped that China could send TCM teams to help them fight the pandemic. At the same time, China has also sent teams of medical experts with medical supplies and TCM prescriptions to countries including Iran, Iraq and Italy. TCM can play a low-cost role globally in terms of helping people fight COVID-19. After this pandemic is over, will there be an internationally recognized standard for TCM?